everyone, it's Kathy here from the UK, designer for Del Bello's Designs. And today I wanted to show you how I created this card I call Forest Friends. I'm hoping that maybe you can see a bit of the glitter and the shine. It's not actually glitter, it's, it's gel pens that are creating a lovely shimmer on the background. Right, the things we need for this card are a piece of multifarious card cut six inches by four inches. Some backing paper card cut in 6.25 inches by 4.25 inches and on a piece of folded card that measures 5 inches by 7 inches. The stamps I used for this project are the LAV 636 Fox Set 2, the LAV 457 Small Reindeer, the LAV 698 Flora Set, this is fastly becoming my favourite set. I use this an awful lot. I'm going to be using the one on the right. And we're going to be having the Tree of Courage, LAV657, and the Tree of Hope, LAV658. The inks for the background are going to be Element Inks, Lime Punch, Mermaid, and Graphite. For the stamping, I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Nocturne, Warm Breeze, Twilight, Chianti and Fallen Leaves. I have a smoothie for blending some of the background and I have uh, some stencil brushes for the element inks in green, blue and black. I also have some kitchen paper for absorbing some of the water that I'm going to squirt on it and I have a, a bottle of water. I also have a couple of pastel pencils that I may or may not use depending on how light the background is if I think it needs a bit more light in parts I will use those I have a black pencil and a black fine liner pen I have a brown polychromo uh, coloring pencil for doing the trees and a gold gel pen for also doing the trees and some of the foliage I have a white gel pen for the highlighting and I have like a metallic red and a yellow for doing the foliage. I also have a acetate circle for doing the moon. Some. So let's get started. I'm going to start by using the lime punch first. And I'm just going to go all over the card. I'm not doing it particularly well. I'm just trying to get colour on there because it's all going to be um, watered down and blended and mixed later so it doesn't have to be really really well blended and I'm just doing this in circular motions as you can see I'm not really making a big deal of blending it really smoothly I think I might need a new ink soon this is getting very popular using it a lot there we go. Right, that's the line punch and now I'm going to use the mermaid I want to leave a circle sort of towards the top so I'm just going to start doing the edges first because that's the darkest part when we get to here I'm just going to do a rough circle like that so keep it a little bit of it green
go, that's fine. Quite happy with that. Let's try and get a little bit of ink off my fingers. It's really hard. So I apologise, I'll probably have inky fingers for the rest of this, but never mind. So with the water spray, I'm just going to spray quite, quite a lot over there. I'm going to leave it for a minute and I'm folding my piece of kitchen paper in half. I'm just going to blot it off so you'll see it start to come through. I mean, if you don't like inky fingers, you could always wear rubber gloves, but I don't mind. That's fine. I'm going to dry that a little bit now, just before I add any more inks. Some more ink on now just a little bit not as much as i did the first time but just a, a bit more depth i want to see the pattern of the um, kitchen paper where it creates this sort of nice pattern in the background i don't want to lose that but i just want to make it a little bit darker my moon mask now and I'm going to get a piece of um, warm breeze take a little bit of that off and I'm going to go around the edges slightly to stamp the trees which I think now I'm going to stamp this one with fallen leaves I'm putting quite a lot on the bottom and just a bit on the top and then I'm going to do the top with Chianti Same with the other tree. Fallen leaves on the bottom. And candy the top. Let me just get a little bit off the edge here because I don't want to get it on the card. And I think that's actually an old bit. That's fine. Put that there. There we go. And this one I want higher up to be about there. to be one of the foxes and I'm doing the sitting fox first and I'm going to do him in the um, twilight and then I'm going to go over the top with nocturne so he's got like a bluey black tone 
Um, there we go. Doesn't want to go away. And we'll have this one sitting in that corner. The other second box is going to be Twilight again. I'm going to top out with a bit of Nocturne. We want to have this one sitting on the bottom of the tree. And I'll have him about there. I'm just going to have a quick look with my acetate because I'd quite like him here. And I think maybe it would come down a little bit. Yeah. Because it's going to get in the way of that tree too much. I don't want to get his horns locked in the um in the branches. I just want to tear off a bit of copy paper. I'm going to go around, around my, um, I keep calling him a stag, but he's not a stag, he's a reindeer. Now I'm going to use the Flora stamp. Again, I'm going to be using the cuts cut off of um, paper. And I'm going to be stamping this in Nocturne. Now using the white highlighter, I'm just going to go around a little bit of the horns. I'm going to colour the trees in the polychromo pencil. I'm trying to see if I can see the colour of this one. It's um, brown ochre.
I'm now just going to go over all of these branches with the gold gel pen. Posca pen. Go over the flowers. The ones that are in a bit of a distance, I'm blotting out a little bit so you don't see them quite so much. One out. I'm just gonna oops, put the reflection on there. I'm just going to go over that a little bit with my pencil. I think I've got a bit of flour on his knee. Right, there we go. Forest friends, hoping you can see the sparkle there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it useful. And before you go, please consider joining our Facebook groups. We have two Facebook groups. Um, one is called Del Bello's Designs Lounge for all things Lavinia, so any Lavinia products. And we have another group called Del Bello's A la Carte, and that's for everything else that Patty sells in Del Bello's Designs. And it's um, it's a great place to hang out, make new friends, share your ideas, etc. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.